Hi there, good friends. This is Chuck Broquet from Salton Valley. Have you heard of Miracle Forgiveness by Spencer W. Kimball of the Mormon Church? For Ether 5.5, one thing about this theology of repentance is does it exalt man to gain eternal life or exalt God for the gift of life? Bob Millett is known for career positions as professor of ancient scripture at Brigham Young University and emeritus dean of religious education. So here's what Bob Millett believes according to Richard Mao of Fuller Theological Seminary. Bob Millett says that his only plea when he gets to heaven is the mercy and merit of Jesus Christ. Now listen to the cheering fans like Richard Mao. Any ball hit hard and long can look like a home run, but if it falls short one inch from the fence, it is still in play. So how about this hit from Bob Millett? It appeared that it would clear the fence, but it's short. They caught him at center field. So what's the problem? The umpire, Spencer W. Kimball bellows, out. Consulting the miracle rule book, let's listen as he addresses the stadium. One of the most fallacious doctrines originated by Satan and propounded by man is that man is saved alone by the grace of God, that belief in Jesus Christ alone is all that is needed for salvation. The Miracle of Forgiveness, page 206. So that's Mormonism. Was Bob Millett really honest to say that he was simply claiming the mercy and merit of Jesus Christ? Seeds of truth, bushels of deception. One rule of the game has to be consistency. And what Bob Millett really believes is this. Therefore, acting alone, the grace of Christ is not sufficient for salvation. The works of man, the ordinances of salvation, the deeds of service and acts of charity and mercy are necessary for salvation. By grace are we saved, 1989, edition, page 70. So that's it. He was not honest. He does not believe his only plea is Jesus Christ after all. So Millet's expectations for salvation include the merits of man. He vacillates from claiming the mercy and merit of Jesus Christ to insufficient grace through Christ and his own works salvation. Well, Millet, you really seem to mean business, but they caught you. So Millet walks dejectedly back to the dugout. What can we bring to these beloved Mormon people to bring them safely all the way home? Dear one today, do you see an insufficient grace of God to give you eternal life from your works? Or would you go with God's word? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1.9